Yo, what up? You know what it is. You know who would be. It's intellect for the combat sports with me. Intellect, yeah. <laughs> so what up? Yeah, I just uh, figured out how to work this on my program. So I'm going to go over uh, strictly MMA. First, let's talk about the Bellator fights coming up, the Bellator Grand Prix. Even though all the fights are announced, I only know of two that are actually coming up. So let's talk about those. In the main event of that card on Bellator, Rory McDonald will be facing Douglas Lima for the title. And I think Rory McDonald's going to either submit him or stop him by ground and pound within two or three rounds. I don't see Douglas Lima lasting that long. It might, it might go in. It might, he might make it out the first, but he ain't. He's definitely not going to beat Rory McDonald in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So, moving on, um, on that card, uh, Chael Sonnen is fighting Rampage, you heard me right, for a heavyweight Grand Prix slot. Uh, they're the opening fight, I have uh, Rampage winning by knockout, I see Chael Sonnen trying to go for takedowns early. And the thing about Rampage is even when he's out of shape, he like as he showed against Kimo, he is difficult to take down no matter what. And Chel Sun is a smaller, less aggressive uh not a, I wanna say aggressive, but like quick. He's not as quick as as uh King Mo is when it comes to like shooting for like he's he's strong, but he's not as strong as King Mo and he's not as big as King Mo and he's not as fast as King Mo. So I don't see him taking taking a rampage down, especially early on. So I see him getting caught and getting stopped. And uh, I'd say maybe second round. So after that, uh, it's Matt Mitrione versus uh, Roy, Roy Nelson. And, you know, big country. I was, I was going to say big and Roy at the same time. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I got a Roy Nelson winning by KO. I have him, I have him winning by, like, second or third round. He just I think he's just going to catch uh, Matt Mitrione, and he's going to stop him. So, one of those other fights have official dates. Like, as far as, like, on their website, you know, I'll go over those fights as well. But right now, we have a... UFC fight coming up and there it goes <laughs> alright so yeah I was looking on my phone on UFC fight pass so. it's uh, the Stevenson versus Choi uh, fight card it's fight night it's in St. Louis it's in January 14th uh, prelims main fight for the prelims is Kalindra Fahari Fahara? I don't know how to say that and Jessica I both are coming off losses Jessica I definitely needs to win this fight to stay on the roster so I'm pulling for her to win also like the other chick she, she's pretty good but she got in, like her, her UFC debut was against a girl who took her down and submitted her in like in a minute so it's not a good look um as far as uh, other fights on that card, uh, of no, Tiago Alves is facing Zach Cummings. Both are coming off a win. Um, Zach Cummings, I think, is three and three out of four in his last four, and Tiago Alves is two out of two. Um, both both definitely need this win. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's at at a welterweight. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's a welterweight fight. I got a Tiago Alves winning by decision. Um, James Cross versus Alex White. Both are good fighters. Um, pretty sure both are coming off a of win. Cross, uh, even though he lost on the show, like he he won his fight on the card of the Ultimate Fighter. You know, those fights, they don't count because they're exhibition fights. So, uh, once it's on the official fight cards, and that's when it counts. Um, so, I have James Krause winning by decision. Um, 
And to me, it was probably going to be fight of the night. One of the fights I was like skimming through just to get to it. Uh, Darren Elkins, Der- the damage, Derek Elkins versus Michael the Menace Johnson. And um, Michael Johnson coming off of that loss. I think uh, back-to-back losses, if I'm not mistaken, from uh, Gaethje. And I forgot who. Uh, oh, Khabib. Yeah, Khabib beat him. Um, he had he had that knockout against Dustin Poirier, but then before that he had lost to Nate Diaz, so he's definitely looking for a win. Darren Elkins coming off of a win, but just brutal wars where he's down and out and just having to gut it out in the third round and get late a late round late third round stoppage. Just, you can't do that forever. So it's like I got Michael Johnson winning by a second round stoppage. Um. Uh, Kamaru Usman, you know, the Nigerian Nightmare versus Emil Meek. I think he, co- it says uh, Valhalla right here. That's his nickname. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good fight. I got, uh, I got Usman winning. But, you know, this fight could go either way. So, yeah, just looking forward to that one. Uh, Paige Van Zandt versus Jessica Rose Clark. I got, uh, Paige Van Zandt winning this because Rose Clark, she's coming off of, uh, Close decision win of over Beck Rawlings, but that wasn't so long ago. It's kind of a quick turnaround. Uh, and what will probably be Vitor Belfort's last fight? He is fighting Uriah Hall, primetime Uriah Hall versus Vitor the Phenom Belfort. Uh, it's a it's been a long, really roller coaster ride uh, career for Belfort. He's had he's he's been a heavyweight champ. He's been a light heavyweight champ. Never got the middleweight championship at uh, in UFC. And um, yeah, he, he's a legend. You know, we all know about TRT Vitor, aka Super Saiyan v- Vitor, aka, <laughs> aka like everybody's worst nightmare. You know, you just unless you're John Jones, who still beat that Vitor Belfort. So it just shows you how. <laughs> When that Vitor Belfort probably broke his arm in the first round, so it's like, <laughs> it's like John Jones beat that Vitor Belfort with one arm, so it's kind of crazy. But anyway, uh, Vitor Belfort, you know, he's a legend. Um, how much more you can say about him than he's, he's just a beast? Uh, Uriah Hall, good fighter. Both are needing this win. Um, I got a. I'm honestly like. I see Uriah Hall winning by stoppage, but I, there's just something about Vitor where it's like you like you, you know it's just he's even now even Dad bod Vitor now it's like he's still a puncher kick away so I'm gonna go for old time's sake out on a limb and go for a Vitor Balfour by a second round stoppage, and the main event. That leads us to the main. I, I forgot that was a co-main event. I thought there was more fights after that. I was wrong. So there aren't more fights after that. Um, Jeremy Stevens versus a uh, Superboy Doi Ho Choi. Um, that's gonna be an amazing fight. Uh, Stevenson coming off of that win over Gilbert Melendez, you know, show display of low kicks and Do- Doi Ho Choi has, hasn't fought since his war with Cub Swanson. So based on that, I I'm gonna have to go activity wise and strategy wise. I I just see Jeremy Stevens outworking him and. Possibly stopping them late, if not just winning a decision. But I see Jeremy Stevens probably winning by fourth round stoppage. That's all, that's all up for uh, this fight coming up. And there's also a fight night coming up on January 27th. to uh, Jacare versus uh, Brunson. And uh, looking right now, it says the fight card is currently unavailable. <laughs> At least on my phone. Uh, I got a... Uh, it's it's the rematch. I got a I got Jacare winning by a second round submission or first round submission. And there's one more fight coming up soon, and that's uh, Stipe versus uh, Francis Ngannou. And my decision for that is uh, Francis Ngannou is gonna touch him, and it's gonna be over. At some point, he's gonna touch him, and I just don't see Stipe withholding. Like, you know, like, I, I'm looking back at his fight with, uh, what's his name? The Skyscraper. And, um, I can't, rem- can't remember his name for some reason, but the Skyscraper, you know, the tall Dutch dude. Um, was a really good fighter. 
uh, he, he's, he was the only person to ever stop Stipe, and he knocked him out. And the punches that he landed, I'm like, Ngannou's going to land faster, more precise, way, qu- way quicker punches than that. Not just way more powerful, but quicker and from different angles. And they're set up, and it's not just swinging blindly or wildly. So, I see him stopping Stipe in the first round. And anew. But if Stipe, but if Stipe wins, he is arguably the greatest heavyweight of all time. That, that's, that's the fight we're in. It's like, whoever wins this fight may be the greatest heavyweight of all time to date. Always, there's always going to be the Fedor cloud because Fedor was so good for so long. And beat so many from fights from freak show fights to top contenders to the best of the best of his era. You know, like people realize, like people talk about, like, oh yeah, he's he's been beaten now and stopped now, but it's like, he, like he outlasted his era. Like you know, you, not that many fighters outlast the era and still win for the next era, and then are still relevant in the era after. He's been relevant for at least two or three eras of MMA. So, there's that, and that is about it for MMA, and uh, my update on uh, January MMA fights-wise. Um, there are some regional fights I, I'm, I might start covering soon, especially since uh, Fight Pass it allows me to watch them, but there's so many fights to watch, and so many things to break down. So, I'm going to do as much as I can while I can, but this is... a uh, combat sports with intellect and yeah it's just my coverage of mma in the month of january and fights coming up and my thoughts on them and yeah that's it hope you have a good day stay up i'll be back at it again as soon as i can y'all have a good one